Hey guys, it's Caster here again. Welcome to another video review. So today I'll be reviewing the ASUS Gladius Optical Gaming Mouse. So this is the part of their new series uh, from ASUS. They never really did uh, many peripherals, but they're now launching a new line of gaming gear, keyboards, uh, key uh, mice, etc, etc. So they're already really making this very, very competitive. We're making a very competitive, uh, I guess, grab for the market share. And I'm here to review it and see whether or not it's worth it. In terms of the boxing, uh, out of the box, it comes with quite a lot of packaging. It has uh, arm-on switches for you to replace, uh, Teflon feet, uh, some stickers, and so I think they're just really trying to uh, make this packaging look really good. It also comes with a 2 meter braided cable and 1 meter uh, non-braided cable, which you're going to switch out uh, if you want to change them. And moving on to the specifications, um, it does sport the 6 uh, Abago 3988 sensor, which goes to 6400 DPI. This is the same sensor as that of the Death Art 2013 edition and the Chroma. Use arm run switches, which is actually have a replaceable arm run switches, which I'll talk about a little bit more, uh, to apparently 2000 uh, hertz uh, pulling rate, which is okay. I just, I'll just i just take it as it is. Uh, DPI switching, and the, you got the basically the usual stuff. In terms of the weight, it is um, slightly on the heavier side, 116 grams. You're looking at uh, a slightly heavier Death Adder, so if you like lighter mouse, I actually wouldn't really suggest this. In terms of the shape, it's very, very similar to a Death Adder. It's uh, 126 by 67 by 45 millimeters. So you're looking at a shape that's very close to that i3, the Death Adder, uh, the uh, Alcur Misers from CM Storm. However, I think it resembles closest to that of the Death Adder. Um, in term, I guess a very, very similar shape to the Death Adder, and maybe they made the shape a little bit more defined in terms of like the uh, click area, the scroll area. And also I think that one of the biggest features is that they uh, implanted a very, very big rubber uh, textured grip, which I find a lot better than the Death Adder. All right, moving on to the overall just build quality. Like I said before, uh, for this price point, you are expecting a little bit better build quality. 79 US, you're looking at like Logitech kind of uh, prices or a little bit expensier, expensive than other gaming mice. I personally think the build quality is actually really nice. The Surface using ABS uh, material. Uh, in terms of the side grips, uh, it does use. Uh, it looks kind of tacky, it looks kind of cheesy, but it actually like works. Uh, you uh, even if your hands sweat or you get, it gives you fairly good grip uh, onto this mouse. Um, in terms of everything else, like it just has a very very smooth finish. So I would actually recommend this mouse if in terms of if you're looking for a mouse with a uh, pretty decent uh, build quality. In terms of performance now, uh, I'm going to be talking about maybe arm, the arm run switches first. Uh, so they did quite something quite interesting. They it did a easily replaceable switch uh, thing. So you can see in these pictures here, you can just like take it out and then you can slot it back in and the switches will work. So this is really uh, convenient. Like if you want to swap uh, arm run switches or replace arm run switches, like in the future, for example, if your switches break, you can just buy some new ones and just slot it in if you don't want to do any soldering work. So it took that out of uh, people's, uh, the inconvenience of actually soldering and unsoldering. So uh, if you like that, that's actually quite an innovative feature, I think, and uh, it's actually good on ASUS. In terms of performance, it is the old performance, which is well documented of the 3980 from Death Adder. At 1000 uh, Hz, there's a little bit jitter, and at 2000 Hz, it feels like there's a little bit more jitter. The 2000 Hz uh, placebo effect, I can't really feel that big of a difference, so I'm not going to comment too much on the 2000 Hz uh, gaming, because I usually use 500 Hz anyways. But in terms of, uh, you're talking about like 800, 1600 uh, uh, DPI gaming, still very, very smooth, very, uh, very, very stable, in fact, uh, at lower Hz. Uh, I think at 2000 Hz, is kind of uh, fairly, fairly iffy. So uh, that's the performance, and um, talking about the conclusion, whether this mouse is actually worth it. It's really just a Death Adder, uh, feel, similar feel. Sl feels slightly uh, heavier than the Death Adder. It's just slightly taller in the middle uh, shape area. And I think like if you uh, like a FPS gamer and you like a slightly heavier mouse, this actually might work for you. But if you like a MOBA gaming, like a smaller mouse, or even like a lighter uh, ergonomic mouse, let's just say, I actually wouldn't recommend this. I was trying to play some Dota with this. It did feel a little bit heavy and I was dragging the mouse a little bit but if you are into the slightly heavier and slightly ergonomic mouse similar to that of Death Adder but it comes with a different shape and some uh, more customization actually with the detachable cable detachable arm on switchable switches uh, this actually would be a pretty good buy so thanks guys for uh, supporting my uh, uh, opening of my store at itechtech.com uh, I did I, the 50% sale is now finished but however I'm still doing a 10% sale using the uh, below code uh, tax 16 when you purchase any purchases from my store so hope you guys liked that video and thanks for support thanks guys